Hey everybody and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today we're going to be upgrading our swapping weapon system. Uh, we are going to be changing it to this system where we can scroll through our weapons. There we go. Alright, and that just means uh, we can uh, go up and down on the scroll. This has also now been set up also for... Um, the gamepad as well, all in the same system. So I was kind of worried I'd have to do it in two separate ones, but I've, I've worked out a very handy way to do it. So in here, we're gonna be setting up a new function and a couple of variables. But before I do, I just wanted, I found an error with the, the third person camera. Uh, where we set this up and we set this active in our toggle button, we need to also add this into our, uh, on event begin play. So on my event begin play, it sets the first person uh, active first. Uh, so you need to, whichever one you want to start first, you need to make sure you set that active camera. Otherwise you're gonna get errors basically. Uh, and I feel that was what a lot of the issues were we were having with our camera. I haven't had any more since. Um, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna come down to here. So I've already set things up down here. So let's unplug all of this uh, very quickly. So, you're getting a bit of a sneak preview there. So what we want to do is create two new um, action mappings. Um, I'm going to just take the ones I've already made here. Um, but I've just created a weapon up and weapon down. And I've set that to, obviously that one's to uh, mouse wheel up and the other one's set to mouse wheel down. I've also set them to D-pad left and right. Um, it doesn't really make much difference which way you go, but I assume right you'd want to go up and left you want to go down, but that's just how I set mine up. You also want to set up a new weapon slot variable. It's an integer. It must be an integer because we want it to be a whole number. We don't want to be doing this uh, in any other way. And the first thing we want to do is um, we want to get our weapon slot. Um, first thing. Uh, we also want to probably set up the function first. So this is what I set up previously. It's very similar to what we had before in the sense that the branches are checking and setting uh, our meshes and things like that. Now, I, before, because I had it set to you press the button and then you want to change it to another button, because there's no two separate buttons, you only need to call it once. Um, and what we're doing is we're checking this weapon slot that it's zero, one, or two. And if you want to add more weapons in, that's perfectly fine. You just need to add another string to check for weapon slot three, weapon slot four. Uh, you could do this setup very differently if you were doing it, uh, if you were creating, if I was creating an RPG, I'd set this up using the weapons master blueprint, but because we're doing just a very simple kind of um, uh, doom game, where you pick up your weapons, or remember Serious Sam, where you had all your weapons and you just scrolled through your weapons, we just need to call this function here where we just have zero, one, two, and we just set the, the specific weapon using booleans basically, and this set skeletal mesh. So that's all very much the same. It's just, as I said, you'll pull off, it checks to zero. If it's zero, zero will always be your bare hands, no weapons out whatsoever, and you'll set your skeletal mesh to zero. You come down here to the next one, in slot one is our pistol. That sets the uh, skeletal mesh to pistol, sets rifle to zero, pistol to active. Uh, and then third, or uh, slot two, is our rifle, which is uh, pistol ammo, zero, rifle, active. Uh, sorry, pistol, not active, rifle, active, set skeletal mesh to the rifle. Um, compile that once you've, once you've created that function, compile it. Um, and the only time you need to call this is in our tick, okay? Which is obviously up here. All I've done is I've set a sequence on our tick so that every time it does this, it checks also our um, weapon select uh, and just make sure we've got the correct weapon active. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to do a branch for both of these. It's kind of a lot of duplication, but we're just, instead of um, incrementing up, we're going to be incrementing down. So we want to check to make sure we're not reloading as always. That's what we did in our original setup, and we will still need to do this for this setup. 
So just plug that in. You can plug it into both because they're going to both be doing the same thing here. The next thing we want to check now, you'd think we would start incrementing up or down, but we want to just do one more check first, and that is to make sure we aren't uh, at a certain point within our weapon slot. Now, if we pull off down here, because we're going down, if we get to zero, we want to make sure um, uh, we are not equal to zero. Okay, because if we go down and we're at zero at the moment, it's not going to go any further. It's just going to stay with our hands. But what we want to do is we want to make it go to the very next section within that run, okay, which would be two in our example. So we'd go from zero to two, or we'd go two to zero. So we, we're just checking to see if we're going down, is it equal to zero when we when we hit this button? We want to do this first before we increment anything. Otherwise, you're going to get issues. So if re reloading is true, we don't want to do anything. We want to click that into false. And then if weapon slot is equal to zero, uh, we can plug in two of these, by the way, if it's equal also to two. Uh, so if it's not 20, we want two. So if it's equal to zero, we then want to just set our weapon slot straight to, um, we want to set it straight to two, okay? We want to, we want the system basically to force it into that final slot. So obviously if you add more weapons into your game, down the line you'll need to obviously amend all this just to make sure uh, it does actually go to that last slot or the first slot, depending on whether you're going up or down. If it's false, now I'm going to pull this down here just for tidiness. Uh, if it's false, we want to increment. Uh, and if this is false, we want to decrement or decrement, depending on how you say it. Um, okay. Um, but we need to clamp that. We don't want it to go too far down. Just, just checking I am right. Yeah, we do want to, to uh, clamp this, okay? Uh, basically, the parameters of the clamp need to be however big the um, the system is. Because what will happen is if, if you now, in a way we stop that by going to two, but what could happen is if we increment, um, we're not checking to go the other way, right? So... The decrement probably doesn't necessarily need the clamp because every time we get to zero, we'll go back, right? And same for this, I guess, but it's just a set of backup. I guess it works both ways, but this is just a backup to stop the increment from going any further than you want it to. Um, but I guess because we've set this this section up, it shouldn't happen. But as I say, it's, it's better to have the backup than not have it, right? Uh, let's uh, do this like this. So once you've clamped and you've gone your incre increment, we just want to now set this to on our weapon slot, right? Set the weapon slot. So it'll check that you're on zero, one or two, and it'll go, okay, you're on one, we'll now go to two. Okay, and then we'll set that clamp as our weapon slot. And that should be good. Uh, and then all we've got to do is uh, set our is reloading like last time to uh, false. And that should be good. You should be good to go. Uh, and it should be as simple as that. We'll, uh, we'll test this in this new system setup now. Uh, looking at that, that's all. I haven't missed anything. I don't think. Uh, oh, we just need to plug in the reloading for this. So if it's false, it goes through. Um, and then if it's true, yeah, it sets up to zero. If that's true, it sets it to two. Um, that looks good that looks good to me um, yeah so it's as simple as that it, it, as I said it, I was a bit worried about it but actually in the in the grand scheme of things it really wasn't too uh, oh I haven't compiled my apologies compile what's the compile error oh uh, of course we need to um, do we need to plug that yeah we do um, <laughs> I was like why is that is that um, messing up on me uh, so get that, and then um, just plug those in. So, yeah, sorry, it needs to increment via that weapon slot. That does make sense. Uh, great. Play. And then if we scroll, we can go down, or we can go back up. And again, if we hit, if we start at the rifle and go up, it goes to nothing. And if we start at nothing and we go down, 
it goes to the rifle and everything still uh, works as it should. Okay, great. Um, hopefully this tutorial has been useful to you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want me to cover. Um, and obviously like, and if you really enjoy stuff, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do and it really does help out the channel. Um, but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for an, uh, a whole nother tutorial. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye.